beautiful people welcome back to my channel uh it's a new week already i am so so excited so all right so these are the things you need for this tutorial you need a chalk you need a measuring ruler you need a tape you need the scissors unless i forget a sewing machine and these are the body blocks i'm going to be using body measurement i'm going to be using for this boot cut it's uh, my body measurement Alright, so firstly what we'll be doing is we'll be chucking down one and a half inch from the beginning of this fabric to the end of the fabric. We'll be chucking down one and a half inch. This has nothing to do with our measurements. This is to enable our boot cut to flare out. to the other end um, I'm going to be using a ruler to connect this and have a straight line you guys remember I said um, this has nothing to do with your measurements yes um, for the top of the fabric why we're taking one and a half inch is for our shaping allowance and then for the length where the length is for the base of the fabric while we're taking down one and a half inch is to enable the boots cut flare out yeah so after doing that the next thing for me to do is to take points i'll take the hip points the crotch points the nail points and then length after that is done i'm going to be doing this too also in the middle of the fabric on the middle of the fabric sorry so i also get a straight line before breaking down my measurement dividing my measurements and then chucking them down on each point to do now is to divide our round measurements and then chuck them down on each point on various points so yeah the first point for me to work on is my waist after dividing my round waist by four i'll be chucking that down on my waist points and then moving on to my round hip um after dividing that by four two you also divide your round hip by four i'll be chucking that down on my hip points moving on to my crotch points i'll be dividing that my round lap by two you guys you divide your round lap by two so i'll be chucking that down on my crotch point and then adding two inches extra yeah so after doing that i'll be calculating what i have on my crotch points right now i'll be calculating that and then dividing that by two i'll be chucking that whatever number i get after dividing that by two on my new point this is to get my middle the midpoint of this trouser you chuck this down on the new point you also chuck this down on the base of the trouser this is to get your midpoint this is how you get your midpoint guys so your palazzo your boot cut or whatever you're making sits right so all right moving on you guys let me explain let me break this down my round lap was 25 25 divided by 2 is 12 and a half so what i chucked down on my crotch points was 12 and a half 12 and a half plus extra two inches i added on the crotch points extra two inches that is 14 and a half so yeah 14 and a half divided into two is seven and quarter so the my midpoint is seven and quarter after getting that the next thing i did is divide my round knee by four my round knee is 19 19 divided by four is um four half and quarter so i'll be chucking that four half and quarter on both side from the from my midpoint i'll be chucking that down on from the midpoint to the right and then from the midpoint to the left just to make sure the boot cuts sit right so new points done moving on to the base of the palazzo um sorry boot skirts yeah so after chucking down my midpoint on the base of the boot cuts the next thing for me to do is to divide my 
round base by 2. My round base is 15. So 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. Yeah, so I'll be chucking down 7.5 from the midpoint. I'll be chucking down 7.5 to the right, left and 7.5 to the right. Okay, so once I'm done with all that, the next thing for me to do is to connect all points with ruler. But before I connect, I'll be adding um, half inch on the waist and then on the hip where they, I have my waist points, I'll be adding half inch and then on the hip side too, I'll be adding half inch. That is like sewing allowance. Yeah, so after doing that now, I'll be connecting my the waist to the hip and then the hip to the clutch with a curve. Connecting my hip to the um, crotch point with a curve. Using my chalk and my ruler, I'll be connecting all points together. Um, yeah, and then I'll be going in with my scissors and cutting this piece out. This is the front piece of our palazzo, you guys. Sorry, this is the front piece of the boot cut. So I'll be placing this front piece on the freshly folded fabric to get the back piece of the boot cut. Please do let me know in the comment section below if this video is helpful if you guys are really getting the step by step i am dropping down here if this video is fully detailed if it's detailed enough for you please do let me know in the comment section below or you can email me on vivianaddict at gmail.com you guys i'll be reading emails i'll be replying comments please do let me know if this video is helpful and also don't forget to share this video with family and friends if you find it interesting So moving on, I'll be chucking down after cutting this piece out. The next thing for me to do is to write F1 and F2, front piece one, front piece two. You guys, you know why I on my previous video I told you why I did this. I always do this. It's for me to identify which is which is which so that when joining there will not be mistake. So after doing this, I'll be taking this off and then folding a fresh fabric for the back piece. Placing down my front piece on the freshly folded fabric. You guys, when you're um, folding out a new fabric for the back piece, make sure you fold out extra. Because you'll be adding uh, one and a half inch on all measurements. I repeat, you'll be adding one and a half inch on all measurements. So you make sure that the back piece, the fresh fabric you're folding out, you fold out extra. Always fold out extra, you guys. So after doing that, after folding out extra and then placing my front piece on this um fabric i'll be chucking down one and a half inch on all measurements and then using my ruler i'll be connecting these lines together like i said before my previous video once you are able to get your front piece you're getting your back piece of the boot cut or palazzo or straight cut whatever choice that you're making is usually very very easy it's just for you to either chuck down one and a half inch or then put a zip allowance somewhere it is usually very easy once you're able to get the first step which is getting your front piece the next back piece is very very easy for you to get
my scissors i'll be cutting this back piece out i'll be tracing it out from the front piece and writing down b1 b2 on the you know wrong side of the fabric this is why i always do this i'll be joining my b1 to my f2 and then my f1 to my b2 i always do this so that i identify the wrong side of the fabric because you always sew on the wrong side of your fabric you guys so make sure you identify where the wrong side of your fabric is and then you just you write down something to you know differentiate it from the right side so when you're joining you don't make a mistake because any mistake you have to start afresh and you won't want that Keeping the back piece aside, I'll be working on the front piece, the dart on the front piece. So let's dive in. Um, I'll be going down by one and a half inch and then going in by three and a half inches. And then I'll be connecting these lines, these dots, sorry, together with a curve and then cutting this out. So I'll be taking this to my machine to join you guys. point where your crotch side is you sew that in by half an inch and then on the other side you sew it in by one inches so and then you choose which of the sides you want to sew in by with a loose stitch so you rip that off and then join your band yeah so you guys if you want to understand what i'm doing next year please go watch my previous video i have done a lot of video on how to attach band on how to attach zip so yeah i don't want to be doing that again to bore you guys so please go watch my previous video to see how i attach my band to this trouser and also the zip thank you guys for watching this video thank you for sticking with me from the beginning to the end you guys are the real mvp i love you guys i'll be seeing you on my next video bye